Hey all, and welcome to Taste Tea's Cooking School. Now, this is not going to be part of the regular Paper Mario playthrough here. Instead, I'm going to show you guys how to make recipes in this game. And yeah, you do need to get all 50 recipes in order to 100% the game, and I can tell you that it can be kind of a chore, so I'm going to just basically give you the 101 as to what you can actually cook in this game, so stick with me. Lesson 1, the basics, that is cooking with only one ingredient. Now when you first visit Taste Tea after completing Chapter 1, you only start off with just giving her one ingredient at a time, and with one ingredient she'll make kind of simplistic dishes for you. Like for example, if you give her a mushroom, I'll just give you a little demonstration here. Yes. But anyway, when you cook a mushroom, she will give you a fried shroom. And with this, yeah, it does only restore 6 HP and 2 FP, so yeah. The smaller dishes are going to be replenishing little here, so... They're not as great as what you would think they are. And why do I keep doing that? Oh, uh, whatever. But when you make a Koopa Leaf... You will get something like this. Delicious Koopa Tea, which will restore 7 FP. But... As you can see here, you can only make very simple dishes with just one ingredient at a time at the start of the game. So yeah, if you get a mushroom, you get a fried shroom, and if you bring her a cup of leaf, you get a cup of tea, and if you give her something like uh, dried pasta, then you get spaghetti, and if you give her honey syrup, she, you actually get a super soda. See how that works? So yeah, basically, basically you're, you'll be doing, dealing off with the basics when you start off this game, but that only happens until you actually discover something in Chapter 4. Lesson 2, the event stuff. Once you get the cookbook and Shy Guy's Toy Boss, then you can actually deal with more than one ingredient, so you can actually now deal with two ingredients at once, so you can make actually better combinations of recipes. So first of all, what I'm going to be demonstrating here is what you can actually get with a super shroom and a mushroom. Mm -hmm. And you can do this in so many ways, there are so many different permutations and combinations you can actually do here to actually get the same outcome, and yet we get a hot shroom just by combining a mushroom and a super shroom. Another thing I should also show you is when you actually combine a maple syrup and a mushroom, or even with a super shroom or an ultra shroom. I'll just show you kind of later on here, once I get both of these ingredients here on the table. But when you combine maple syrup with with either a mushroom or a super shroom or an ultra shroom, you get this maple shroom with a mushroom. But if you get a super shroom with a maple syrup, then you get a maple super. And if you combine an ultra shroom with maple syrup, then you get maple ultra. See about how that works. Yeah. And also, as you can plainly see, I do have a Jelly Ultra in my inventory. I will explain that later, but for right now, I also have something else to show you here. If you get... You can also do Mystery as an ingredient, and... The recipe that you get out of this is random. Hence, the reason why they call it Mystery, and I don't think I'm going to be using Mystery anytime soon, so we might as well make it with one. And I'll just show you what Taste Tea can actually make with that. Sometimes experiments turn out to be great, yes. Oh, yeah, so I guess you get a super soda out of that one. But actually, you can get any recipe just by using a mystery here. 
So yeah, that's actually kind of cool. And that is actually how you can combine two ingredients to get an even better and advanced recipe. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually do something that you've already encountered before. Lesson 3, an item for an item. Okay, the third thing I'm going to show you guys today is how you can actually combine ingredients to form store-bought items where you can actually buy at a shop, which I know it can be it can be kind of weird when you think of it that way, but it does actually work and I mean you do need to get all those recipes made too in order to 100% the game to get all 50 recipes. So yeah, I don't think you can really escape that, but anyway, as I was saying, when you combine certain two ingredients, then, um, excuse me, two certain ingredients, then you actually, you can actually get a item that you've already found in a shop, like for example, a fire flower. Now with a fire flower, you can actually combine a strange leaf and a dried fruit to get that, and dried fruit is not going to be really easy to get because in order to get that, you have to defeat a pokey in dry dry desert in order to do that. So yeah, it's going to be kind of a kind of a chore. But yeah, you can also form a you can also make a tasty tonic if you actually uh, cook it with a lemon or a lime. You can actually do a sleepy sheep with a strange leaf and any kind of berry from flower fields. You can do a dizzy dial from strange leaf as well. And you can also do a volt shroom by just combining a mushroom and a goom nut. And way on down the line. And yeah, I do also know that you can make a thunder rage from combining two certain greens too, but unfortunately I don't exactly remember what those two are and where. But anyway, yeah, you can actually you can actually cook some items by using items. <laughs> I know it's kind of funny that way, but as I said, it works. It's it's efficient. And now let's now deal with the cake mitzes. Lesson four: cake mitz ingredients. Just to get a little heads up here. Reason why we are back here in Lava Lava Island. Well. As I said, getting all 50 recipes isn't going to be that easy, and I can also explain to you why. One of those reasons why it's not exactly all pins and needles here. Mmm. Something smells really good. Is that delicious smell coming from something you're carrying? Whatever it is, I want to try it. Come on, what is it? So you have to give a, the yellow Yoshi here one of these recipes, and it's changed for an ingredient. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only way you can get the melon here, and yeah, you do need a melon for certain recipes. Just, just to give you a little heads up there, guys, if you're going to grind up for all 50 recipes. So, let us go back to Tasty's place. And we're back in Tasty's kitchen, and as you can plainly tell, I have cake mitts. Now, as what most of you know, you use cake mitts in the real world and in the Mario universe to make pastries and desserts. Now I'm going to show you guys actually what you can actually do when you combine certain ingredients with a few of these cake mitzes here. Like for example, take this bar flower and this cake mitz like so. And Tasty might bring you something really good here. Or maybe something bad, who knows. You get a fire pop, yes. Now this hot lollipop, it actually restores 20 FP, but it'll actually damage 1 HP from your um, health. Considering that a fire pop can be really, really spicy and just really hot to the touch, you know. So yeah, you can make a fire pop out of that. Now let's do another ingredient. Let's combine cake mitts with a coconut. And no, you're not going to get Coca-Cola out of that one. You might guess what this recipe actually is, considering that the last one was a lollipop. Now we have a coconut lollipop, a Coco Pop. 
Now this one will actually restore 3 HP and 15 FP. So yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Now let's do one more. Let's combine, let's say we have this cake mitts here, and we were to combine this with the melon that the Yo yellow Yoshi gave us. What do you suppose that can be? It may be a reference to another game, who knows? We get Yoshi's Cookie, yes. A cookie baked by Tasty and it restores both 15 HP and 15 FP. And now let's do a little, um... I'm going to actually do a brief explanation as to what you can do when you find an egg. Now when you combine eggs with certain ingredients, like for example a fire flower, you can actually get an egg missile. Now what this egg missile can actually do is, it serves as a projectile and you can actually throw that at an enemy and... You actually... It'll actually damage this, this H, HP for you, so yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's actually kind of, kind of handy when you're using that, like, out in the wild. But also, when you do, like, something like an egg with, um... Can't really remember what the ingredient is, but if you actually combine that, then you get a boiled egg. I do believe it's a... You'll have to check up on that. Yeah, some of these recipes I did have to look up, considering that I have... I, I myself have never actually completed all 50 recipes in order, but, you know, it's, it's kind of good to look up some things, kind of look up some good tidbits of information here. Now let's go on to the last lesson. Lesson 5, a dish fit for a king. Now for the last lesson, we are going to be dealing with very advanced recipes, like for example, what you can actually form when you combine rare items such as an Ultra Shroom and Gem and Jelly and a Life Shroom. Now, when you actually combine an Ultra Shroom and a Life Shroom, you can actually get a Shroom Steak. And yeah, it sounds really good when you when you think about that, despite me being a vegetarian at all. But yeah, you get a Shroom Steak out of that. And if you actually combine a Life Shroom and a Mushroom... Actually, no, sorry, I got that wrong. Um, but you get an Ultra Shroom and a Mushroom for a Shroom Steak. However, there is an alternative to that. If you combine a Life Shroom and a Mushroom, you also get a, a Shroom Steak. Which is pretty, pretty nifty. So yeah, I, I would rather... I would recommend getting substitutes here instead of just going with the proper... with the proper technique. Now, to actually get a Sweet Shroom, you get a Life Shroom and a Cake Mitts for that. Sounds good, huh? And the other, the last thing I'd like to, I'd like to dis discuss here for our tutorial for today is how to make a deluxe feast. Now this one you kind of have to be a little bit cautious. I mean, it depends on where you can actually get these said ingredients, but like, for deluxe feast, you need a, either a whack a bump or, um, Yeah, you need a wacka bump and a strange leaf, or you need to combine a potato salad and a shroom steak in order to get said feast. Yeah, you can actually, you need to actually keep in mind that there are some, there are some recipes that serve as ingredients as well. So, like for example, if you combine a uh, a special shake for something else, then you can actually get a healthy. A healthy s can't remember what that recipe is, but it's it's healthy something. You do, you do the imagination, guys. You, you use your own imagination for that. But anyway, for whack a bumps, you need to be a little bit careful, considering that I think it only takes you like eight times for you to whack a whack a in, in order for it to disappear. So you have to be kind of kind of circumspect on that. So I would, I would actually rather if you did like the shrimp steak and the potato salad. And yeah, you do, you make a potato salad by using the iced potato that the toad gives you at in Shiver City. And that is the end of that lesson. And in conclusion, you can actually, you can make 50 recipes in this game just by finding 
by hundreds, hundreds of ingredients scattered throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. And yet, as I said, there are probably like hundreds of permutations and combinations as to how you can actually get all 50 recipes in order. And, and yet, as I also said earlier in this episode, it is going to be kind of a Herculean task to actually get all 50 recipes. I mean, you have to... You will have to give up some Ultra Shrooms and Gem and Jellies if you're the Sam Metal one. And you also have to do a lot of grinding. And when I mean grinding, I mean grinding for... Like, beating lots of enemies up just to get coins, because you do need to probably go to low oinks <laughs> to get all these Gem and Jellies and Ultra Shrooms. And... Just to let you know... You get a gem and jelly when you get a silver low wank, and you get an ultra shroom with a gold low wank. If it's the tenth pig in the pan, and again, I should point out that the low oinks is probability based. So yeah, it all comes down to luck. So you, you really, you will probably be disappointed when you play that game. But you have to. It, it's it's worth it if you're actually willing to 100% this game. But anyway, there you are, my game musicians. I hope you have fun with this. I hope you actually will be able to complete all 50 recipes. I hope you can actually be really creative, and I hope you can actually make me proud. So yeah, good luck, bon appetit, and next time we will be dealing with Starway. So see you guys next time. And now guys, I have a final exam for you to do in order to pass Taste Tea's cooking school. If you would like to participate, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to send a response to this video. And I want you to bring me two ingredients and tell me what those two ingredients will form. And also for extra credit, describe what they do. What can you make?